making this for tea tonight. Sorry, I'm shouting over the bloody kettle. <laughs> it's prawns, but I'm doing chicken because I've got no prawns. I don't want prawns, so we're having chicken. It's chicken do piazza. I know it says king prawns, but I'm not doing prawns. <laughs> so, that's what we're having tonight. And that's from the Fake Away book. So, I've got all my ingredients out. They're here. I'm just going to turn you off a minute until the kettle's finished. Right, so I'm back. So, I have got the following. I've got my chicken, which is the cooked frozen variety in that bag. I've got some red onions. One green chilli, a couple of fresh tomatoes, some um, garden vegetable stock pot. Now, had I been doing the prawns, I'd have, doing, I'd have done fish stock, but I'm not, so I don't want to put fish in there because it's chicken. So. But hence, that's why I'm doing the vegetable. And I've got some chopped tomatoes, some garlic puree, some mushrooms, brown rice, fry light, salt and pepper. I've got this beautiful tin that I picked up. And it's got garam masala in it. Got that from Lidl's. Dirt cheap. And some curry powder, some cumin ground, and some cinnamon ground. And that's it. So I'm just going to get my rice on. I have done a tutorial on rice. And all I do is I put an inch of boiling water in a saucepan. I add my rice. I normally do a cup per person. I'm having to cook rice for the dog tonight because she's not feeling, she hasn't been feeling very well. She's got a bit of a dodgy tummy. And um, so I don't really want to give her dog food. So she's having cold cooked rice for tea tonight. She likes rice, so she won't mind. So I'm going to get my cup. And like I say, I normally do a cup for Jace, but I won't eat a cup of um, rice to be honest, but a normal person, there's a cup of rice, and then I'm going to do another cup of rice because I'm doing it for Kimmy and for me, so I'll have half and she'll have the other half, so that's, qu that's quite a lot of rice, I'm just going to add a little bit more water. And all you do is give that a stir in there. Give it one stir. Put your lid on that doesn't have a hole in it. You see, it's a holeless lid. <laughs> and um, cook it until it comes back to a raging boil, which it is now doing. And just leave it for a half a minute and then turn it off and then leave it on the the cooling heat of the ring and don't take the lid off so I've now turned that off because it's starting to can hear it yeah at that stage and it's all starting to smoke it's now off so it will calm down in a minute and then it will just continue to cook on so that's that. <laughs> I'm going to put my chicken in my frying pan. I'm just going to spray light it, switch it on high. That rice will take 20 minutes. Right, so there's my, my chicken in. Chicken. It's so great, you know, when you've been at work or whatever. Just you, I haven't forgotten to get the chicken out of the freezer, but if you do forget to get the chicken out of the freezer, it's brilliant. Here she comes. You all right? Are you all right? Can say hello. Hey, can say hello. Yes. Oh, you're feeling a bit better. Hey. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, there's me. There's me telling everybody how poorly she's been. So, chicken's in, 
then I'm just going to prep all my vegetables and then I'll come back to you. Right, so I've got my chicken going and I've got my two onions. I'll chop them up and put those in there as well. And to that, I'm going to add my chopped up two fresh tomatoes. My chopped up green chilli. And I've got about three, three mushrooms chopped up. Stir that all in. And then I've got my chicken stock. It's going in. It's pretty easy to make. You just literally chuck it all in the pan. Now your tin tomatoes, it suggests a whole tin. I'm only going to put half a tin in. I don't want it too wet, if you know what I mean. And then I'm going to put some garlic in. I'm using, I've run out of fresh garlic, so I'm using this paste. Put some garlic in, and then I'm going to start putting my spices in. I'm just going to check how much you need. So it's one tablespoon of garam masala, which is my posh one. So this is a dessert spoon, so there you go. And then two teaspoons of cinnamon. Spoons of cumin. That's that all gone. And two tablespoons of curry powder. That seems a lot, doesn't it? I'm just going to put one dessert spoon in. Could blow my head off otherwise. Uh, a bit of pepper. God, I'm a bit low on this as well. And some salt. Good pinch of salt. I turn it down to number three and just give that all a mix in. And then Quite literally, I'm going to leave it for 20 minutes. I'm going to go and walk the dog. And when I come back, it'll be cooked. So I might turn it down to two, actually. Be on the safe side. Smells good. Right. So let's turn it down to two. And then I'll take Kimmy out and then when I come back it will be ready oh before I go for those of you who follow me on Instagram my Instagram name is Pauline date this is I put this morning a picture of a before and after picture of me uh, the 29th of August 2016 and then a picture of me yesterday chubby cheeks I've lost 21 pounds in 10 months so it's not been quick like you see some people they have really you know really really quick um, losses mine's not like that I'm five foot what am I I'm five foot one and a, five foot one and a bit <laughs> nearly five foot two if the cream and look like that <laughs> who am I kidding my husband's six foot my eldest son is six foot five, honestly, and I'm like dwarf. <laughs> so yeah, so I didn't realise how fat my face was. So yeah, quite pleased. Yeah, <laughs> makes you want to carry on. So if you've got a before and after picture, you know, you know, a before picture, 
and you've been on a while put them together and um, I think you'll be surprised I was yeah how much it shows so anyway I'm waffling on I had to check it was recording then I thought it stopped right I'm going to take the dog out and I'll be back in a minute Hiya, we're back from walking the dog. We, the royal we, that is. Anyway, curry is cooking. I reckon it's ready. So, I just want to say, before I start dishing up or anything else, I just want to thank Jane SW. She, bless her, gave me such a lovely, lovely shout out on her, on her YouTube video. And... It's really, you know, really helped me out with getting some more um, subscribers. So, thank you, Jane. That was so lovely of you. You really, you know, that was a really special thing to do, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Anyway, I am going to try this curry and see what it's like. Let's try it. I hope it's not too hot. Jason will love it if it's really, really spicy, because he's a Vindaloo man. I'm more of a, um, what am I, more of a bolty, sort of, um, yeah, not a korma girl, no, I'm not, I'm a bit more of a, a bit more than a korma girl, <laughs> I like a bit more spice than that, so let's give it a try anyway, so it's all in here, looking rather lovely, it's quite brown, There, there we go. There's my Ruby Murray. Let's get a spoon and try it. If it's too hot, I'm thinking what I might do is put some um, yogurt in it, in my bit, and I'll leave JC's as it is. You know, sometimes you have to wait for it, don't you? <laughs> no, that's all right. Oh, that's good. Let me just try it again. Because my t taste buds are tricking me. No, I can cope with that. That's fine. <laughs> right. So, I'm going to dish up. So, let's turn that off. Rice is already off. Get a fork and fluffy rice up. Let's get a bowl out. Oh. Of course, that's in the dishwasher. I've got to remember to keep some rice back for Moo Moo. Right, so lid off rice. Fluff it up. Can you see? Perfect rice that's not sticking together or claggy or starchy. I mean, I didn't even wash that rice. Don't need to. You know, all the grains are falling away from each other. Beautiful. You'll get perfect rice every time, I promise. Right, so. That's mine. I've got way day tomorrow, so I shouldn't really be eating this rice. This is out on a bike ride. <laughs> Where else would he be? <laughs> he was in last night. <laughs> so that's JC's. That's Moo Moo's. Let's put that by the window so it can... Because I think she must be starving, Gus. So let's open the window. Pull that down. There we go. Right. Then... Curry. As soon as you open the window, a ruddy fly comes in. Honestly, I must say though, Susan, I'm coping a lot better tonight in my kitchen. <laughs> the last two nights have been horrific. <laughs> but I soldiered on. <laughs> it has been mighty hot in this kitchen. <laughs> it's so much nicer. I've even got a long sleeve t-shirt on, look. <laughs> right, so this is Jason's. Okay, there's a little bit more juice on mine. Oh, a bit of tomato. I fancy that bit of tomato. And there we go. So that's 
So, I might just put a bit of yogurt on mine because I know what's going to happen. I'll get into it and I'll go, after a while it will get to me. I'm going to have to do some baked oats tonight as well because this is the last of my yoghurt so I can't do my overnight brown. Oh, it's a pain when you get to the last day of blooming shop, isn't it? Right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of, little bit of yoghurt on there. A bit of pepper. There you have it. for Instagram and then I will do a taste test I'm upgrading my phone I can upgrade my phone on the 13th of September oh I can't wait two year contract I've had on this phone oh my days I hate it I'm getting an iPhone I've got a this is a Sony oh Blinking thing's got a mind of its own. It does what it wants. It drives me nuts. Right, done. So, let's try this. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Mmm. I like it with the yoghurt, I must admit. I really like it with the yoghurt. For me, that is just right. I mean, if you want to make that spicier, maybe put a whole red chilli in or something to pep it up. Depending on your taste buds, you know. But, very nice. I'll tell you what would go nice with that. There's a little bit of my flatbread. See, that's hot now, I can feel that. I need the yogurt. Um, yeah, a little bit of my um, sweet potato flatbread. I've got a recipe on my channel for that. So if you want to have a look, I'm going to be making those next week. Um, what am I doing next week? Oh, I've got it all written down here. I'm going to be doing some halloumi and roasted pepper flatbreads. So if you want to watch me make those, that'll be in a couple of days' time. I haven't got any of the ingredients yet. I'm waiting for Tesco's tomorrow. I shall do a shopping haul tomorrow, a Tesco shopping haul, and I shall be doing all my recipes on there, what I'm going to be making for next week. So I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go and eat my um, my Ruby Murray, and I will speak to you soon. Take care, have a lovely evening, and catch you later. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.